Hello, I'm David, I'm Lindsay, and this is Desmond, Desmond Stonders. Welcome to this week's video from Port Soy. We're back at Port Soy to meet up with friends, and we're at Port Soy because Colin was mobbed, which is where we were going to take them. After a period of good weather, we have now, when people are up visiting, on normal weather. There was just the two of us to start with, but later in the day, Kev's son and family turned up to complete the trio. Yes, we're hunting in packs of three as well. Hello! I've got my beer. Happy days. Met up with Dave. I don't even know the date actually, Dave. We've lost track. I don't I've know what day. I've no idea of the day. Kev and Ash went off to fish from the rocks and by the pool. Kev initially had some problems with his camera because of the wind and the waves, but he soon found a solution and continued to fish. Kev didn't man manage to catch anything keepable, but as you'll see shortly, Ash surely did. And words out the mackerel are about. Kev and Ash are catching, and guess the boats are out to catch as well. There is a, a pot marker there, but I haven't seen him pull anything in. So there he goes straight and does it. Oh well, perhaps the word's not out. Perhaps it's the famous Scottish weather. It doesn't rain all the time, just for nine months of the year, and then it drips off the trees for the other three. That's only a joke, you know. We've had some glorious weather, it's just chosen this week to water the flowers.
bad for an amateur, is it, eh? Dave, you like mackerel? I've, I've got enough food in the van to last a fortnight. <laughs> Lindsay doesn't let me go away without <laughs> enough. Smile for the camera. Not intentionally, it's, uh, we, we need to get, we've, we've been out long enough and it's, um, yeah. Um, it's difficult. No, we've had a really it's nice a, it's time. A long way, it's a long way from home up here mm. yeah, to drive. Is, yeah, and yeah we, I won't do this in one day. Well, who'd have believed it? The weather we've had so far this weekend, we've got a glorious sunset tonight. breezy. It's a little chilly. But at least the rain has stopped and the sun, although setting, is putting on a show. I get a chance to get the drone close to the dolphin statue. There's nobody about. Then someone appears and I have to back off. Oh well, try again next time. As you can see, as we look at the park up, it's soon filled up again after Kev and Sarah had left. We uh, found out, somewhat to our dismay, that it was a birthday party and they were there for the rest of the weekend. However, they did not disturb us one little bit and I hope they all had a good time. Look at the change in the weather. Kev, Sarah, Ash and Kim have gone, as of the kids obviously, and it looks like they took the weather with them. Blue skies, fluffy clouds, and while the sea is still a bit lively, it is a lot quieter. Lindsay will be here soon. 
So I'm going back to watching the birds. That's some new bonnet art. Nose art for Desmond. Lest we forget. I'm going to replace the old one because this was brighter and the old one had faded so you could hardly see it. And the same is going to happen at the back. The owls are going to disappear and a new sticker, deck owl, will appear on the back. But you'll have to wait to see that. It's a bit more work getting that one off. Portsoy is one of those hidden gems that you've probably never heard of. But if you get the chance to explore this part of Aberdeenshire, you really should take the time to check it out. Nestled in a small bay on the picturesque Moray coast between Cullen and Banff, Portsoy is a small sea trading village that time appears to have forgotten. Quaint cottages line the roads that wind their way down to the seafront. And it's here in this 17th century harbour where you'll find some of the warehouses that stored the Portsoy marble the village was once famous for. This red and green serpentine marble is renowned for its quality and was at one time shipped all over the world. Even today you'll likely come across examples of jewellery and statues made from it if you ever visit the Palace of Versailles in France, for example. Although Portsoy was well known as a fishing port in the 16th century, the harbour that we see today wasn't constructed until 1693, when the 8th Earl of Boindy decided that the Aberdeenshire fishing industry would benefit from improved berthing and material storage. Take a close look at the old harbour and you'll notice that the stone walls have been laid with horizontal rather than vertical stones as it was thought that the walls would resist the crashing waves better. They must have done because it's still standing over 300 years later. The new harbour was built in 1825 to keep up with demands made by the herring fishing industry, but as the trade in herring declined in the 1900s, Portsoy became less and less used. Today you'll find more pleasure craft than fishing boats, but thankfully the charm and character of the place remains intact. There is a sculpture of a dolphin at the top of the mound, giving some clue as to why nature lovers also flock to Portsoy, as pods of dolphins are frequently seen swimming and playing close on the shoreline. Here's a picture of the time-lapse camera taking a time-lapse, but it's alright, I'm not going to do a time-lapse of a time-lapse camera doing a time-lapse. 
and that is what it's looking at and that will show you the difference between this camera and that one Thank you for watching Desmond's Donors and remember please take nothing but memories and leave nothing but tracks. Please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and hopefully we'll see you next time.